Today we're going to be looking at this Zadok SSD. It's a two and a half inch traditional SSD which should fit in most computers and it's got read speeds up to 560 megabytes per second. On the front of the box it says the manufacturer's name which is Zadak, it tells you the physical size of the drive, obviously various versions are available but ours is a one terabyte and it also says SATA free two and a half inch SSD. The back of the box is pretty generic, it's multilingual, just basically says it's an SSD uh, which can replace a hard drive, pretty much that's it, a few QR codes. It doesn't mention the speed or anything on here, just to reference though, on the website it says it's 560 megabytes per second on the read and 540 megabytes per second on the write. Inside the box you've got the plastic casing and you've got the SSD itself, there's no unneeded documentation or paperwork. So the SSD itself does have some nice artwork on the top, bear in mind this is just a sticker, it's not engraved or anything like that, it is just a sticker what's put on top, which to be honest with you, you can't really tell and it does look pretty good. On the back you've got all your obviously information like your serial numbers and what the drive is and all the stamps what they have to put on them and then you've got your connection on it otherwise there's a big warranty seal on the side but otherwise nothing special it's got all your standard mounting holes that you would normally get on a two and a half inch SSD and for those of you who want to know it is 3D TLC NAND flash. So as you can see we've got the SSD here, it's set up on our test rig and we're obviously testing it. Uh, we're using a program called Eurosoft PC Check UEFI, we do a quick 30 minute test to make sure it goes through uh, and then when we've done that we'll be giving it a 48 hour test for a stress in it just to make sure that obviously it's just not going to conk out after using it for a couple of hours. So it's really going to put it through its paces. Now if you've not used Eurosoft PC Check before, this is an industrial scale program. It's designed uh, to obviously test all your components and so forth inside your computer or you can select specific ones uh, and also on top of that it's a lot better than the free ones online which are to be honest with you a little bit hit and miss sometimes. Now this is sort of software you'd find that a lot of computer repair shops um, use. You have to pay for it, you get special USBs and so forth so you can't copy them and all this that and the other and you also find system integrators that's the guys who build computers also use it to stress test them and test them to see if there's any issues and stuff like that. So down to testing, we've tested this three times on each of the tests, we're connected up to a basically an i7 processor, it's a 10700K processor, we're running on 32 gigs of RAM, blah 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 blah, but ba basics is the machine's capable of running as fast as possible when testing a device like this. We tested using Atto and Crystal Dismark. We did it three times and we're showing you the average score off of both. Uh, using Crystal Dismark, we got a read speed of 558, so just a fraction under the 560 quoted, which is, to be honest, margin of error. So that's absolutely fine to do that. The write speed was a little bit slower than the 540 they quoted. We got 505 altogether so around about 35 lower again on each of the three tests we did and we've checked it on another board as well we got roughly the same score within a couple of points now we also did testing with Atto, Atto is uh, renowned to give you a slightly slower test result in all honesty and that gap gets bigger the faster you go uh, but the read speed we got roughly 532 2 megabytes, 533 megabytes per second, which is pretty good, but the write speed was maxing out about 484 megabytes per second, so again, well under that uh, 540, but again, to be honest with you, it's still a very, very fast drive. In case you want to know the IOs, on the read we got 107,000, and on the write we got uh, close to 83,000. Temperature wise, it looks like there's no sensor on the drive, which is common on two and a half inch drives because it basically said it was running at 40 degrees at all the time. But in all honesty, uh, when we touch it, it feels more like it's running at around about, I don't know, probably about uh, room temperature, to be honest with you. So, which is at the moment 22 degrees. So, it doesn't seem to be getting up to obviously the 40 degrees light like it's quoting uh, there. It, as you can see, the temperature's not changed at all. It's 40 current, minimum, maximum, and average. 
Otherwise, you've got a pretty good drive, to be honest. So if you're looking to upgrade an older machine or you're wanting plenty of more storage in a modern machine and you're looking for a, an affordable way to do it, well, you've got it here. It's better than going down the route of a traditional hard drive, which can be a bit slow and clunky these days. You've got uh, a decent speed SSD, uh, which shouldn't cause you any issues. So I would recommend this product. I hope you enjoyed this video and know I did. Why not check out one of our other videos by clicking this box up here or this one just down here. Otherwise, you can give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment below, let us know what you think and we'll see you next time.